Hi everyone, welcome to my first thrift haul of 2022. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen and I am the Urban Sewist and this is the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood. On this channel, we talk about upcycling, fashion, we do thrifting and we learn sewing techniques. So if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell so that you can get an update every time I release a new video. So today is all about thrifting. This is my first thrift haul from 2022. Yay! Um, it has a little company over here. He might, he might come over and visit. Come here, Jax. Come say hi. Say hi. Who is that? <laughs> so anyway, um, so today I went thrifting and it was an amazing haul, okay? And I did it, well, the first thrift haul I got on my lunch break. So I had an appointment and on my way back, instead of going to get lunch, I ran into the Goodwill and oh my goodness, treasures. Yes, absolute treasures. And today all the yellow tags were half off. So just about everything that I got was half off. Then after work, I went to another Goodwill and I found some more treasures that I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to share these with you guys. Oh my goodness. So we're going to get started and um, I'm going to try on a few of these and show you how some of these things look. Some things I didn't buy for myself. Some things I bought to upcycle, some things I bought to integrate into my wardrobe, some things I bought that I might resell. So I've got a lot of different options with the pieces that I picked up. So let's get right into it. So first I got started in the handbag section and I'm moving through this section pretty quickly. I did find a couple good uh, really nice gems. Um, after thorough review on some of them, I put them back. Uh, I found this Kate Spade um, newsprint bag, which I Googled and it ended up being an imitation, so put that back. Uh, but that Etienne um, bag was actually really nice, but I just decided I didn't need another leather bag, so I put that back as well. And this little tiny purse you will see in the review later so again the Kate Spade bag I did some inspection um, I always encourage people to you know look through your phone Google check online on a lot of products that you're finding just so that you don't get taken and end up spending unnecessary money even though it may only be two or three dollars it's still not worth the headache later on especially if you're trying to resell and you don't want to sell resell anything that's counterfeit. So this Nine West bag was really cute. It was leather, but I decided against it in the end. At the end of the day, it wasn't something that I really wanted. So I ended up grabbing quite a few clutch purses, not this one. Again, it was pretty poorly made, put it back. Uh, but this red patent leather clutch actually I thought was really convenient and pretty nice and cute and in great condition and you will see this again soon um, and then I ran across this bag from Akira that I initially thought was a vintage bag uh, but it was in really great shape along with this vintage clutch so I grabbed the two of those as well Next, just to show you a few other items that I picked up was this green leather bag, which you'll see me talk about later. I absolutely love it. As you know, blue and green are my two favorite colors. And this bag is perfect for carrying my laptop and other things that I may need to go to meetings as the world is starting to open up. And many of the clubs and organizations that I belong to will require in-person meetings. This bag, I remember seeing something very similar when I was trying 
traveling to Italy and yes indeed it is Italian made but I didn't need another crossbody bag again a leather backpack that I just don't find laptop um, backpacks being something that I want to carry often this um, leather clutch I love the embossing and um, so I grabbed that as well so I am going quickly through the sections with the paintings and more dresses and I'm telling you I flew through this store in record time Next, I headed over to the skirt section and I found this gold printed skirt from Newport News. Uh, and I looked at it and was like, ah, it's cute, but it's only a skirt. Just a few feet down from that, I then ran across the jacket. So what a great couple of finds. Put those in my basket, kept going, looked through shoes, looked through boots. I did find another dress. I found a great pair of boots and I found this fur stole, which I was so impressed with. Um, it is not in the best shape. However, I think I might be able to work with it. Uh, it just had some really great qualities about it. So I grabbed this one also and then I saw this dress look at that isn't it beautiful look at the close-up of the detail um, this dress is by um, Adriana Papel it is a size six um, I am not quite a six I'm between a four and a six but I'm thinking of one wear as is and then doing some upcycling or selling it. Then I found this really cute green sweater by Dreamers. Um, really like that. The other stuff I'm gonna show you a little later. Okay, so I'm headed now over to the men's section. There's only certain stores that I go to, or certain thrift stores that I go to and I'm able to find, like I see a men's coat right now hanging on the rack that they haven't put out. And you know, they ask you not to um, pull anything off of the rack. And so I see one coat on there um, and it doesn't even look that great of a quality unfortunately so I'm gonna um, head back over to the women's section and do a once over Okay, so here I am in the second Goodwill store. I don't anticipate getting much since I did get a lot earlier today. The goal is just really to take a look around. Oh, look at this belt. That's pretty cool. I'm going to take a look at the coats. Let me check it too. I'm heading over to the men's section because um, I didn't have any luck um, 
where I was and look at these handbags because I actually got lucky earlier today with the handbags that I found. You know, the thing about coming towards the end of the day on the day that they've changed over the tags is that a lot of stuff is already picked over. It's really best to come first thing in the morning on the days that they change the colors. Okay, so I just ran across these green. Checking to make sure. Yep, they are genuine suede. They are my size. These are super cute too. <laughs> For the summer. Franco Sardos. They're five and a half. I can't do anything with that. There's this L.L. Bean down jacket. And I swear you guys, I really want to make one of those down skirts out of a down jacket. But that jacket is $49. And if I mess it up, I'll be mad that I spent $49. So I'm not going to get it. So I just ran across this leather moto jacket, $15. Yep. It's a really nice leather. I mean, it is that soft, buttery leather. Now this one might be worth picking up. I'm taking it. Now look who just found a pair of cowboy boots that are super, super cute. I don't know how comfortable they are, but... Okay, at this point in my shopping, thrift shopping, I started to get a little weary and I breezed through the dresses, the women's dresses section. I don't suggest, you know, rushing through this section like that. There's so much here to offer, but I was a little tired and kind of ready to go at this point. Uh, but when I got to check out, that's when I ran into the Brooks Brothers trench coat. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. So I'm going to start to finish up here and get into the haul. Okay, um, not really seeing much here. So no luck with this. Um, I did find a pair of shoes and the moto jacket. Um, and the one belt that I think I'm going to put back because I'm concerned that because it's not leather that it is going to not look as posh as I want it to look. Um, so I'm headed to the checkout line. That was quick and easy enough, but I am going to take a look in the designer case. Okay, so just to give you a sense of what's in the designer case, um, you got some, a couple of Michael Kors bags. There's one here for $40 and it's half off today because yellow tags are half off. Um, there's some Beats headphones in here for $25. Um, I don't know how those would work. Uh, there's uh, controllers for like Xboxes, dolls, Wii games. Um, I'm particularly interested in this colorful bag right here. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. There's a couch bag in here. I don't know how much that is. Um, there's a Kate Spade bag in there for 40 bucks, which I don't know. You know, I just don't know. Um, I have those Tory Burt shoes at home. I actually got them at a consignment store. I paid 20 bucks for them. Um, so that's what's in the case. And I've got to wait for the lady to come back to let me in and see what's in there. So hopefully. All right, so let's get into this haul. So I'm going to start with the first uh, piece that I picked up and I'm planning to use for an upcycle actually two pieces Technically three because one is a two-piece set that I'm going to upcycle the fourth piece that I'm going to show you is Probably going to get worn first and then I'm going to upcycle it later just because of the condition that it's in But it's such a fabulous piece. 
I want to get some wear out of it first before I upcycle. All right, so this first piece, um, this skirt, you guys saw uh, in the video. Um, I found this skirt and it was clipped to one of those skirt hangers and underneath the clip was a button and the button clearly looked like it matched the fabric, but there's no place for a button on here. So I was like, oh, this is nice. But, and even though it's a size 12, so it's too big for me. Um, what could I do? Maybe make a pencil skirt but then I'd have to match it up with something. So I left it on the hanger. I literally walked three feet and I found this, the jacket, the matching jacket. Now, beautiful fabric, fully lined jacket and skirt. This uh, is by Newport News. Um, I'm really impressed. And the button matched the button on the jacket. So that was amazing i got this set and my thoughts are bustier top pencil skirt little shrug to go over it something really fancy for the evening so that is what is happening with this piece i am so excited i plan to use utilize these buttons some kind of way on this so this is a down the road upcycle for next fall all right, so that's technically two pieces, but it's a, you know, it's a set. Um, I found this really soft, really pretty sweater, camo sweater, which I love camo. You all know I love camo. If you follow me on Instagram, you see I have upcycled a few camo things, camo things. And this is by Dreamer. It is an acrylic sweater, but it's super, super soft. And I plan to upcycle this. I thought this was ultra cute. Next is this fur stole. Yes, it is fur. And what I forgot to mention, this fur stole, $4.99, fully lined. Um, there is a slight flaw in the collar uh, because if you know anything about um, skins, it is really, really important that you care for your furs really well because the skins will start to deteriorate over time so that's why i would like to get at least one wear out of it and then i plan to upcycle it um, i just think it's so beautiful i want to throw it on with something you know and i can kind of work through some of the flaws but you see here it's got this big fur button on there which i can't wait to use in some kind of upcycle and the clip the hook that goes underneath it uh, it's so beautiful and i just really want to do something with this so i'm excited about um a five dollar fur stock stole that you know i can try to do something with so this is definitely an upcycle but i would like to get one wear out of it maybe i could make a fur muff Maybe I could make a fur hat, maybe a fur bag. Something is gonna get made out of this. I don't know how or when, but I'm definitely gonna try to play around with it. Okay, next up are handbags. This other one I ran across, I thought it was vintage. This is a vintage bag and uh, it was $4.99. So it was $2.50 today. And I just like this kind of platinum color. I don't know if you can really see, but it's got like a floral imprint in it. And I liked it because it was big. Um, you know, it can go underneath your arm. I can put a good amount of stuff in here and it's casual enough to be every day um, worn with jeans or I can dress it up um, I really like this color I like the little contrasting gold diamond in the front so this one I really liked and the price was right on the money okay this one I think you guys are probably gonna get a kick out of but look at that little handbag now I know it's tiny <laughs> And there is probably nothing you can keep in here except for some change. But I thought this was such a cute little statement piece. And I plan to carry it. 
with something. I don't know what, but I just thought it was so cute. And it was $1.99. I'm all about conversation pieces and adding different pieces to your wardrobe. Now, this could probably go inside of another purse, but I just thought it was cute. So I got it. The next one, um, these next three actually four are clutches except for one has a strap on it this little silver bag um i thought at first when i looked at it i thought it might be vintage but it's not uh but i liked it one it was 4.99 it was half off all yellow tags were half off today and um i just liked it i thought that it could be dressed up or dressed down i liked that it had a little strap you know that i could put under my shoulder and i think when you fill it out um you know it will when it expands it'll be really nice it's small enough to just hold as a clutch um i like that it has this little strap on it and i believe you can put the strap inside just like that this one i thought was super cute it's a red patent clutch and when you open it up it has place for your id money what have you it was 3.99 half off so two dollars and i just like this because you know if you don't want to carry a full clutch or full purse you've got you know can carry it as a wristlet it's small enough it's casual to wear with jeans and if you just want to have something in your hand i'm not sure if i can put my phone in here i think i might be able to just stick it in there and close it up it might be a little bit of a stretch but i can try and to me this is all that i may want to carry it's just something simple and quick and easy to have and I, this other one I ran across, I thought it was vintage. And when I opened it up and I saw that it said Akira, I was like, are you kidding? $5 on sale, $250, another $250 handbag or a clutch. Um, only one place that I see the beads were coming out of place and I can go in there and stitch that down. Otherwise, I thought this was a great bag really classy and nice so 250 you cannot beat it this bag when i passed my hand over it i thought this feels like some good leather and then i opened it up and i saw the name inside and it was not a name that i recognized levinger 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 anyway i googled it while i was in the store because i was like i haven't heard of it but it looks like quality leather i mean it was clear that it was quality leather leather well you see this picture that's what it came up to so this bag runs about 125 to 250 online now granted this is second hand um, it has a little more wearing this looks like it's an older model than what I found online but it is in one of my favorite colors and I love it i mean it is such a beautiful soft green leather and this was my most expensive purchase and it was $14.99 but i've been wanting a green bag and this is perfect because i can actually put my laptop in here so this is great like this is my best purchase of well yes yes it is my best one from from this afternoon so i love it i love it i love it uh, i cannot wait to style this and to carry it so it is perfect um this was a little clutch and it's got this plastic covering over what looks like um some vintage fabric uh so it does look a little vintage um just looking at it from the inside and how it's made uh, i just thought it was really cute and classy and so I picked it up. It was in great condition. Uh, the little gold around the edges is still in really good condition. So love it, love it. So I was really excited to find this pair of boots today. Not a high-end pair of black boots, but a nice pair of black leather boots. These here are by Nine West. And I love heels. I always am wearing at least a two and a half to three inch heel these were in extremely good condition i have never had any problems with nine west products nine west shoes and i really like these and they were i believe 10.99 
uh, and they're in excellent, excellent condition, hardly worn, no scratches on the heels whatsoever. Um, the bottom of them barely worn, my size six and a half, and I'm really happy to find these. This black leather moto jacket you all saw last week, decided to keep this for myself. I really like it a lot. And then these green suede pumps, which were absolutely a perfect fit, love them as well. Okay, I must have been channeling jackets today. I found this fantastic black leather moto jacket. This leather is so soft and supple. It is, it is really a nice jacket. I really love it. I love these zippers on the sleeve. I love the softness of the leather. I feel like I'm seeing this more. I wanted to pick it up because I thought the hardware on it was so nice. The collar kind of snaps down to the jacket and it fits me perfectly. A little bit more of a shoulder pad than I like. I'm really gonna have fun with this jacket. These green pumps are suede because uh, you know I looked inside to make sure that they were leather because I really can't wear um, shoes that aren't going to give a little bit. I really love these. I don't have any green suede shoes and the pump, um, the heel is a great size. So these I'm really looking forward to wearing. I don't typically, I'm not a big fan of coach but when i saw this and i saw it in the um in the cabinet where they keep the designer pieces and it was 15 bucks because it was half off it's in really great condition um all the the straps the corners you know the bottom of it it looks like it was barely even worn um, so really a nice, uh, bag, um, from coach. This is not leather. This is faux leather, but this is a kind of a moto style, um, jacket kind of, and it is so nice and soft that I went on ahead and bought it because normally when I find those faux leather jackets, you know, they're kind of, um, rubbery and they just don't feel really nice but this one is a good quality faux leather it is by coalition downtown and i really like it it's an extra small what i like about it are these kind of retro looking sleeves i'm gonna just slide it on okay so if you notice the sleeves kind of are raised a little bit that's kind of a little throwback to me so i love that and it's white so what I'm going to do is I am going to work on styling this white leather jacket along with some white jeans, some white boots, maybe a white sweater. I really want to do this white in the winter because I'm seeing it all over the place. And I'll just tell you, I do not stand by that no white after Labor Day. Yeah, I don't buy into that. So this was $9.99. It was half off five bucks can't beat it right i found this dress today and as soon as i saw it and i saw this sheer top i was like this is quality when i looked at the tag i saw that it was maggie london and it is a size six you can never go wrong with the little black dress and then i found this vest by guess i love the little tag on the back um, I love a nice little vest. Now, when I put this on, um, it doesn't close across the front. I don't want it to close, but it has such a nice silhouette. I love it. I'm thinking crisp white shirt with poofy sleeves and a pencil skirt. This right here is going to be so, so cute. And then my last great find of this afternoon is this beautiful dress, which I found hanging near the women's jeans section i touched it i was like again this is quality adrian papel yes and it is a size six so i was like i am i am cooking with gas right about now i don't know if you can see that but it's got like a embroidered kind of pattern on it it's absolutely beautiful and I can totally see myself getting some wear out of this before I upcycle it. Because you know I'm going to cut this up. This fabric right here is too gorgeous. 
I totally want to cut it up. Uh, but it is great quality. It was only $7.99. It was not um, on the markdown. And the one of the ways that you can tell that a dress is really great quality, it's got bra straps inside of the upper strap to hold your bra strap in place. That is a good quality dress because that's going to keep your bra from sliding in so you won't see it. Again, this is kind of a low cut in the front and so you don't want to see that on the side so very good quality so those are my items from this afternoon and honey wait until you see what i found this evening truth be told the reason that i even went into the thrift store i really went for the purpose of looking for a men's trench coat and if you heard me in the video i was like i'm heading over to the men's section i can't find any men's jackets there was that one men's jacket hanging on the rack that they were getting ready to put up and i couldn't pull it off and i was just like there's no men's jackets here well when i went to check out this evening look at what i found look at the tag in there boom do you see that brooks brothers Brooks Brothers, and do you see the yellow tag? $34.99. So you know how much I paid for it, right? $17. Fully lined. Look at these sleeves. Epaulets on the shoulders. I mean, it is beautiful, beautiful coat. It's a is a size six petite. So it's not super long. I am taking this to the cleaners tomorrow and yes all right so that was the first thing and the last and final great find is this navy blue trimmed in red military jacket i've been looking for one of these kind of jackets for a really really long time i really want to upcycle it but this jacket fits me so perfect i have got to rock it with some jeans or i don't know what i can't wait to start styling this uh, the buttons everyone is still on here you know it's such good quality uh, only the sleeves are lined the inside of the jacket is not lined but i'm perfectly fine with that and i want to get at least one wear out of this before the end of the season that's all i got guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you soon bye don't forget to look for me on Facebook along with my Facebook group. Come join us as we embark on different sewing projects and be sure to follow me on Instagram. Until next week, see you then. Bye.